Hey everybody, uh, welcome back. Next using Emacs video. Uh, yeah, it was time to uh, time to get the haircut. Uh, I do this a couple of times a year. Um, it, it lets me uh, kind of, you know, it's, um, uh, it's a little bit uh, too lazy to go to the barber shop and this is quick and easy and cheap. Um, and it lets me do like the guy from The Seven Samurai, like the main samurai. Um, if you've seen the movie, you know this. If you haven't seen the movie, um, see the movie. Um, the, the main samurai guy, the old wise aged samurai uh, at the beginning of the movie he shaves his head to appear as a priest so that he can rescue a little girl from a bandit and then throughout the movie whenever um whenever some you know deep you know deep question comes up from the ponder he's like mm. you know so i get to do that now which is really cool um once i shaved my head i try to do the chia head thing you know take the picture every day but yeah that didn't stick so anyway um what we're going to talk about today is a uh, load time on Emacs, and um, so to um, a lot of people, historically have said, "Oh, Emacs, it takes way too long to load. It's, my load time is 20 seconds, 30 seconds." And then people talk about shortcuts they can use to uh, to speed things up. Um, and uh, what a lot of people didn't know about is, for a long time, um, Emacs has this thing called an Emacs server. And um, with the Emacs server, you can then connect to it with a client, so you can leave Emacs running all the time. And so the cool thing here is um, I actually have this bound. Uh, Emacs client loads the Emacs client. And I have a shortcut set up. Let me just show you how I did this uh, keyboard. And it's you know, different on your machines, I'm sure, unless you're running um, Mint. And I have a custom you know, a little heads up, capture, we're going to use this later on in another video. So Emacs client, and so notice it's Emacs client um, dash A, so yeah, just bring it up here so it's easier to see. Emacs client dash A, which stands for what's the alternate editor um, to run if it doesn't work, and then dash C, and um, I don't know what they have it standing for, but that's... Um, A create frame um, and the other way is T to run it within the terminal and what that'll do is if you're not running Emacs client um, it'll it'll bring up a client it'll it'll start Emacs but if not you'll um, uh, it'll just connect to the client so to show you that if I just type in Emacs client dash C um, what I'm going to do is notice that brings it up bang really fast and it says down here when done with this frame control type control x50 and that's how we get rid of frames that actually didn't load Emacs it just opened up a frame to the running Emacs client um, in fact I'm going to kill all my Emacs running so that's going to kill my notes uh, which are ah um, and if I just type my my um, hotkey is alt e not alt e super e um, this is loading Emacs. Notice it takes a little bit of time here to load Emacs, but now if I type it again, it really quickly brings up uh, another window, and here I can close this up, and if I type that uh, Super E again, really quick, and even here if I type Emacs Client-C, um, that brings that up really fast, and that actually, yeah, I actually exited that time. And if I type Emacs client dash T, it brings it up in the terminal, in the console. Um, as opposed to actually Emacs, notice how this is just a little bit slower. Um, and we'll just exit that. And I've also aliased EC for Emacs client dash C. Uh, but this is how I keep Emacs running all the time. And uh, it lets me do things like um, I've set up uh, org capture to work so I can capture whenever I want. And as long as I have an Emacs running, it's going to work, um, which is really, really cool. And that's kind of uh, capturing is kind of why I'm showing you this here. So this is actually a really short video, just a little five minute job here. Um, but we're going to stop at that. And um, this is going to set things up to talk a little bit about org mode and um, capturing and the way I do bookmarks and stuff like that, which I think I'm hoping you'll find a little bit interesting. Okay, so that's it. Thanks. Bye.